Hey everybody, this is Laura with Crazy Dave's Crew. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Thursday Threads. This week I want to take a look at just at some beginner projects. Um, I've seen a couple people in some Facebook groups go, Okay, I bought a sewing machine, now what do I do? And they have no idea where to start. And of course we all want to make the beautiful gowns and the you know, clothes and, and different things. Um, but we need to work a process. So, this week, a simple beginner's project could be decorating some towels. So I'll tell you, I love having decorated towels. I don't feel like my house is completely decorated until my bathroom's decorated. These can make great gifts. Um, I do remember there was a year we were exceptionally broke, and I made, uh, this was a crochet project, but I made toilet seat covers for everybody. Um, these can make nice housewarming presents, wedding presents, any number of things. So don't go away. We'll be right back and let's get started on just a very simple beginner's tutorial on adding some embellishments to a towel. Don't go away. So I went to Walmart and picked up a variety of towels. I've got hand towels, bath towels, different things. And I I like to put my embellishment not on the side that's got the tag. And I bought some trim from Hobby Lobby. An interesting note here. Every other week, they're by the roll trims and ribbons are 50 percent off now i also ordered some from ebay just some different things i'm gonna we'll start with this one and as always i like to pin We'll cut it a little bit longer than my towel because I'm going to tuck in the end. I'm going to try to match it up to the end. This, though, that is up to you. And no, not all towels are perfectly square. You got to be careful of that. Okay. And I'm just going to pin this down. I'm going to stitch it down right down the center on my sewing machine. And I'm going to try to keep that as straight as I can. Let's tuck that in. There are times when you can find bags of laces and trims at thrift stores. Uh, sometimes even at, uh, you know, like the dollar stores, Dollar Tree and things, you can find different uh, ribbons and such. You do not have to go broke on this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just stitch down the center. So let's go over to the sewing machine. All right, I have a standard basic foot. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Probably the one that comes with your machine. Okay, white thread. And I'm choosing the white thread because I am going to be adding the rickrack, and that's got a white edge. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to choose a center stitch. Okay. And then if you look on your foot, there's this little notch right there. That's where your needle is, and that's what you need to be aiming for. And with this trim, it's got a nice stitch in the center. So we're just going to follow that along. my 
pen. And I am going to go backward and forward a couple of times to pack it in. Overlap, reinforce those stitches. Take your time, especially if you're new. Uh, you'd be surprised how difficult it can be to just sew a straight seam sometimes. So take your time. And if you are not perfect, don't stress a lot about it. It's called practice. It takes practice. Uh, you could call this done. It's got that just a very simple edging on there. Not too bad. But I want to put something else on there. So I am going to put this thin ribbon right down that center. Again, I'm going to cut a little bit longer than my than what I want because I don't want that edge to fray. So I am going to just kind of tuck that under. I'm going to pin that down. Now this time I am going to do two seams because I'm going to try to get right on the top edge and on the bottom edge because I don't want it just flapping around. If you are new to sewing and you're looking at your machine and you're a little intimidated by it, you don't know where to start, because I'll tell you, that's the hardest thing, is, is just getting started. It would be kind of like if I told you to write a story. Well, that can be really difficult. But uh, if I told you to write an episode of your favorite show, I bet you could do that, because it's already established. You kind of know what's going on. Same thing with the sewing. All right, so let's stitch that down. And I am not going to move my needle. I'm going to keep it right where it's at, right down the center. And I'm just going to aim for that little notch there to come right inside my trim. And there is a little bit of bulk. Ah, there we go, perfect. I'm pleased, I'm happy. And again, we're gonna reinforce those stitches. Just kind 
to stitch that on down. Spring coming up. This is going to make a nice, pretty spring towel. Bring some nice, you know, fresh air kind of to my bathroom or to my kitchen. And the neat thing with this, you can decorate your house the way you want to, not the way the manufacturers tell you you have to. You get to use the colors you want. Oh, I know. What if you know somebody who is a UT fan and you're having a, um, a party and, and y'all are going to be watching football? Well, why not have a bunch of UT or, uh, orange uh, white towels with, with orange ribbon on it? And that's not something that they can find anywhere else. Okay, reinforce. So we got the bottom one done, but I don't, I don't want that on the top. That's not going to do right. So we're going to stitch that down as well. And when we're done, we'll clip all of our loose strings. Again, I'm just going to aim that little notch where I know that's where my needle's at right on the edge of the trim. And there you go. So there you go. You've got yourself a nice, quick, very quick little project that you can do. That way you can congratulate yourself on a job well done. Because here's the thing. Your muscles are going to be tight. They're going to be tense. You're going to be exhausted after just doing a couple of these. So pace yourself out. If you're brand new to this, you want to pace yourself. Start with something quick and easy, something small, something that you can look at and go, hey, I did that. So, don't forget, um, Crazy Dave's Crew is on Facebook, and I would love to see pictures. We have a Crazy Dave's Crew page, and we also have a Crazy Dave's Crew Sewing and Crocheting for Beginners group, and I love to see pictures. So, if you've made any of these, pop up some pictures let's take a look at them so i can congratulate you and tell you how awesome you are okay i hope this has been helpful i hope it's been fun can't wait to see what you make and i will see you next time on thursday threads don't forget to subscribe subscribe don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss an episode of thursday threads see you next time